So you've received your copy of Keyboard Shortcuts for review. This is a document created by Bluebeam. But now that you have it, uh, we're going to use this as a reference as we're learning all of these keyboard shortcuts so that we can save time. We're no longer using all of the toolbars. We can use our keyboard and really speed things up. So now that I have it, I've opened it, and I've opened it in review. So you'll see there's cloud, ellipse, eraser, the whole list. And it's a six-page document. The first few pages deal with mouse clicks, right-clicking, using the wheel, etc. But I'm really concerned with, or I'm really interested in uh, these keyboard shortcuts so that I don't have to uh, use toolbars, or as many as I used to. So what I'm going to do is open this up. And I'm also going to find it in the list here. So if I go to File Access, Keyboard Shortcuts.pdf, I want to make sure that this is available to me tomorrow and the next day. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say pin file. Now it shows up right here. And that's great. That means it's going to be there later uh, until I remove it. So now that I have this as a reference, it's going to be open for me. I can come into a, a different PDF file, pan, zoom, and then I'm ready to get some markups on this particular PDF. And the markup I'm looking for is Revision Cloud and I forget what it was. So I'll come back to Keyboard Shortcuts and I sh see enough, uh, that the revision cloud is C. So I'll click here and I'll click C and I am in the revision cloud and I've just placed a revision cloud. But you know, I, I'd also like to get some text in here as well. Um, I know I like that typewriter tool. Um, I like the way that it allows you to be real precise in where you place the text. So I'll come back to the Keyboard Shortcuts and oh there it is uh, typewriter and it's W so I'll come back to my plan and I'll hit W and I'll place it here and I'll play some text okay. so uh, I'm finished but like I said when I leave and come back or close review go away for the weekend and come back um, here in my pin files is always going to be my keyboard shortcut so you know, let's fast forward a couple weeks. Let's say you've uh, practiced and you've memorized your dozen or 20 uh, or so shortcuts and you're thinking, well, I'm kind of off on my own now. I, I don't need that as a reference anymore because I've somewhat mastered the keyboard. So I'm going to click here and right click, say pin, unpin file, and now it's gone. So that's it for the keyboard shortcut. Thanks for watching.